Today I'd like to show you how to import an Excel table into Access. The two softwares work back and forth very, very nicely together. So we start, we have a blank database, and a database is simply like a filing cabinet. It's a holding place to put information that is related to each other. So we're going to come up to the external data tab, and we're going to import an Excel table. And this is one of the wizards. It takes you through um, very nicely, and you just point and click to the file that you want to import. We say open. It's going to import the source data into a new table into this current database. We go through a series of steps. The first one is just to identify that the top row in my table has column headings. So I say next. The field name, there's listing ID. Uh, there allows double data types. It's indexed, yes. We're just gonna leave that there. Normally Access does a really good job on selecting what type of data goes in here. We say next. We can let Access add a primary key, which means it will not allow duplicate numbers in that field. For this table, I don't need a primary key, so I'll say no primary key. Say next. And the computer suggesting a table name, a file name, I will accept the suggestion of listings. And click finish. A little message pops up that the import steps are saved and it's done. The new table appears on the left-hand side of the Access home screen. Double-click to open the table. We can minimize this panel on the left-hand side. And this is the table that we've seen before in Excel and it is now in Access. At this point, we want to put, if we were doing mailing, um, mailing list and doing labels, we would want to have the address, the city, the province, the postal code, all together, and it appears this way. If we did not want a field for any specific reason, we could delete, select the field, the, do a right click, and you can simply delete that field. We'll leave them all there for now, because what I really want to show you is how to do a query and how to extract specific information from that table. I'll close the table. I will open up the panel on the left-hand side. The listings table is still, still selected, it's highlighted. At this point, I want to create, up in the top tabs, create a query. A query is a question that you ask to the computer. The query has a wizard that works really, really well. So I'm going to do a simple query wizard. I say OK. This is the table it's, that I'm going to use to pick, take all the information from. And I want to use all the fields. So by clicking that double arrow in the middle, it's going to take all the available fields and put them in to show that these are the fields I've selected. I say Next. I want the details to show every field of every record that is already selected. I say next. Again, the computer suggests a file name, listings query. It identifies the type of document that you have. And click finish. Nothing really looks any different from here. At this point, the only difference is it says it's a listings query. Now I have to go and put the commands in. What specifics do I want to see? Clicking on the Home button, I come into the design view of this query. Shrink down the left panel. At the bottom of the screen are all the fields that were listed in the table. And I don't want to see all the fields. This fourth line down says Show. So what fields do I want to show? I don't want to see listings ID. Yes, I want to see district. I want address, city, province, postal code. I don't need category. I don't need the, all the rooms that are identified in that table. The garage, fireplace. I'm going to leave the asking price and city evaluation. 
the owner's and the sold fields showing. The agent ID field, I'm also going to hide. The criteria, what specifics do I want the computer to pull out? I want to see only the records for the properties that are sold. So in the criteria row at the bottom of your screen, we're going to type the word yes. That's a criteria. Yes, the properties are sold. Up in the top left-hand corner of the ribbon at the top, there's a little run button. It looks like an exclamation mark. Click on that run, and your table that had umpteen dozen files to start with, your table now has 14 records. We see this number at the bottom of our screen, and the records that are showing are only those that are sold. So at this point, you can pretty it up, make everything legible, there's nothing worse than seeing a file that the content is half blocked. We can go and print preview that to see what it would look like on our page. And we can see that this is going to be showing on two pages. It's chopped off a little bit. So we do have the option at the ribbon at the top of changing it into landscape view. And it's still on two pages although there's not as much on the second page. So if you wanted this and really had to have this on one page, you would have to go in and change the margins through the page setup options. And the left and right, we don't have to worry about top and bottom. The left and right margins I'll put down to 10 and we'll see if that size works for us. And it does. So right now, you could print that table. It's the extracted records for properties sold. And that's what you would use in your next job. So this is our query. We have extracted the files for the records that are sold from our master database table.